Today you'll be getting back your poster board, your sketch, and then you will also be getting a needle and some string today as well as some tape and it's time to start making this amazing kind of sketch become a reality. So first things first, we need to get some tape ready kind of on the edge of our table because you don't want to have to be tearing off a piece every time you need it. You kind of want to have a little stockpile ready to go. So you are going to take kind of not super long, kind of a manageable size piece and you're just going to kind of rip or cut some very small pieces and then place them on the edge of your table. So once you have a bunch torn off, you don't need to make a hundred of them, just maybe a couple, then you're ready to start. Once your tape is prepared, then you're going to go ahead and get your first string from what is affectionately known as the yarn monster. So I'm going to be working on this design. So I'm going to start with red. So I'm going to grab probably kind of at the end, find the red color that I want, hold the middle, and I should just be able to pull and then my piece pops out while the rest stays nice and neat at your table. We need to go ahead and thread our needle. I'm giving you some kind of blunt needles that have very large eyes, but it can still be a little bit difficult to get this in. Some kids are really good at kind of pinching it and pushing it through, but if that is hard for you, then you can use what I call the hot dog bun. You've got the world's longest hot dog. If you take your hot dog and you drape it into the hot dog bun and pull it so that that hot dog is all the way inside the bun, you can pinch it and then you can slide that paper through the eye and it kind of pulls it through for you. Now when we are sewing, we're gonna leave kind of one short piece, not super short. If it's really short, it falls out very easily. So I'd pull it a little bit longer so it doesn't fall out super easy. And now we are ready to begin sewing. We're gonna hopefully have some really amazing kind of stitched string art at the end of this project. The front will be beautiful, but the back will be the Hot Mess Express. That is going to be where you're kind of taping off all of your new strings and also taping them off when you are done with that string and done sewing with it. So today, when you start, you are going to start from the back. That way we can tape the end of our string on the back of our circle. So I'm gonna look at my plan, and this is gonna really help me kind of figure out what I'm doing. I'm gonna start at zero, and it's gonna go into one. So you should have numbered the front side. It's a little hard to see, but my zero is right here. So I'm gonna kind of aim for that hole from the back, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull this all the way through. Now, if you pull from the end of your needle, sometimes this little tail slides off. So once you pop it through, pinch the eye of your needle, that way you don't have to re-thread your needle every two seconds. And I'm going to pull this all the way until I get a very, very short little tail on the back. Now don't pull it all the way through because you got to go ahead and tape it down. I don't really want to waste a lot of strings. So I'm going to pull it pretty short. I'm going to grab one of those pieces of tape that I got ready for myself. And I'm going to secure that tape over that yarn. You're going to be doing a lot of taping depending on your design. Make sure you don't accidentally tape over one of the holes that you're gonna to have to sew through. All right, so mine is attached. If I give it a little tug, it kind of doesn't come out. It gets stopped by that tape on the back. And now I'm ready to sew kind of this first part of my design. So for me, mine goes from zero to one. So it's already coming out of zero. So I have just a quick jump over to one. So I'm gonna push it down. I'm gonna grab it. And as soon as that eye kind of pops through, I'm going to pinch the eye of my needle that way my yarn does not accidentally slide off. I'm going to pull this until the string becomes a straight line. I'm going to look at my next one. I go from zero to two. So I, you really have two options here. I can go back to zero and pull that all the way through, nice and tight and then jump over to two. But I also have the option on the next one, per se. That one's going from zero to one, then zero to two. My next one goes from zero to three. I could go back to zero, or I know that I just need my three and zero to connect. So really, I could just kind of jump from three and connect it back over to zero. So I'm gonna pull that tight. Make sure you always pull tight after every stitch and it kind of goes back to zero that way. 
Um, make sure you aren't pulling so tight that like your board is curling up. It should kind of lay relatively flat. So make sure you're pulling tight, but don't pull it so tight that your board is kind of curling up on you. I'm gonna keep on going. My pattern says that I go from zero and I connect all the way down to seven, actually all the way down to eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. All right, mine's looking pretty good, but I'm kind of coming to the end of my yarn. If I take this and I try to go ahead and connect the next one, you're gonna notice that I've kind of run out of thread. I don't want any of my thread or yarn to end on the front. I want it to end on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pull that stitch back out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tape it on the back side. Now, I don't need this. So in order to kind of keep my back side from getting too crazy, I'm just gonna trim it kind of next to my, um, my tape. Don't throw these away. We're gonna save these. I'll give you guys a bucket at your table to kind of put any yarn scraps into. Now, what I have to do is just find that same color of red in my yarn monster, grab it, and then I will simply re-thread my needle and kind of start wherever I left off. So I kind of ended um, at five. I could either start it here at six or I could start at zero. I'm gonna start here at six. I'll just go ahead and pull that up and I'll pull all the way until I've got a really short little piece. And then I'll grab some tape that's kind of ready for me and tape that down. And then I can kind of keep continuing to sew my pattern until I've kind of finished with the red string or until I run out and I need more. Every now and then when you're sewing, you realize, ugh, that was supposed to go to there, not to there. If that happens, you can always just kind of take your needle off and just pull the string back one stitch. And then you can just re-thread your needle and then you are good to go. So the nice thing is if you make a mistake, you can simply just pull that thread kind of backwards to get it back to where you can fix that mistake. And then you can just keep on going. As you start to have a lot of strings kind of crossing over the back side of your poster, you want to make sure if I'm taping this down, it can be kind of hard to just push it down over all this other piece of yarn. So I would take your nails and really kind of smooth that tape down over the yarn to make sure you aren't going to have pieces falling out on you. Sometimes when you're sewing, you realize that you're a little bit short. Like I just need a piece that kind of connects these two spots and I found this in the scrap pile. So instead of grabbing a brand new piece of yarn, I'm just gonna use this so that I can kind of use this little piece here and not have to grab a brand new one. When you're finished, just make sure that all the loose ends are kind of taped off on the back and enjoy your string art design.